Hey guys, Ski with Pete here. Got kind of a weird video for you today. I've got this idea for a project. It's been kind of bugging me for a while, so let's just dive right into it and talk about what we're gonna do. We've got this idea about making something called a solder cam. Basically, it works like this. I want a camera to be mounted on top of the soldering iron, looking down at the tip of it, so that as I take my soldering iron out and start to touch stuff, you'll be able to see exactly what it's looking at. Think of it kind of like an action cam, but for the soldering iron. So here's my plan. I'm gonna take a webcam and I'm going to mount it to the back of the soldering iron like this. Now I'm using, I'm using the action cam to show you here what this is gonna look like, but why don't I, why don't I give you the opposite view? I've switched over to my action cam view here and I'm just taking my selfie cam and I'm going to use it. What I'm basically looking to do is to affix this here. You see there's the camera end of it and I'm just going to tip it down like that. And then this should basically be able to see that tip wherever it goes. You see what I'm saying? All right, so next up I'm going to have to head to the hardware store. All right, guys, I'm back from the hardware store. This is what I've got here. This is a uh, ring clamp, so this is going to tighten around the end of the soldering iron. I've got a quarter inch screw, and I got a quarter inch bolt. Next up, I've got to start drilling, uh, drilling a hole in this. Drill noises, drill, 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 drill noises. Okay, check it out, I've got my hole. So now all I need to do is feed this through here. Uh, I'm going to have to screw it in there. Okay, now I'm just going to put this over here, like this. Okay, just switching back over to the action cam, I just want to show you what this is coming together like. So I've got the flat end of the screw in under here, uh, and it's clamping onto the back of the hacko. Now, what I don't want to do is I don't want to make it too tight because I don't want to crack this plastic, but I don't want it loose because I don't want the webcam to come off of it. So I've just got to find that perfect medium ground where that's on and not going to shift around, but it's also not going to crack the plastic. All right, that seems pretty cool. Now, I need another couple of parts for this. As I'm sure you guys have seen in my other videos, I like to use these Manfrotto clamps. I have one of these on the bottom already of my webcam and you just uh, clip it in place. So what I'll do first is put this nut on here. And then next up I'll put this on here. Okay, that's in far enough and it's pointing straight down. So now I can start to tighten this nut up underneath it. All right, perfect. Now I'm just gonna grab this as my webcam here. Clip that in there. Uh, make a couple adjustments. Let's take a look at what that looks like. So now you can see that the solder cam, it's a little bit heavy to move around, but the solder cam is going to give us a very close up view of exactly what we're soldering. I'm just gonna make a couple little adjustments here. There we go, just made a little bit of, just made a little bit of an adjustment with the focus so that the tip of the iron will remain in focus. And there you can see that's exactly what it's gonna look like as I touch on points. Or here's another example that I'm going to use, which is the Raspberry Pi Model Zero. And what I intend to do is solder in the GPIOs along here. So uh, that will give us this sort of view. Cool. Well, thanks for joining me on today's solder cam. You can see it's pretty cool and it's going to give us a whole new view on the way things are made here on Ski with Pete. Cool guys, thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you catch everything that's coming up with the new solder cam. If you found this video particularly useful, you can buy me a 
coffee in the about section below. I really do appreciate that. Every time you guys do contribute to the channel, it helps me buy more cool stuff like this little bit of hardware here. I'm also on Patreon and you can support me there. Make sure that the channel is well funded to continue to make cool projects. It's always best when we create a little community around these channels, so don't forget to post any comments or questions or help each other out in the comment section below. That stuff's always appreciated by everyone, including me, and of course the people that you're helping out. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. We'll see you again soon.